Good morning, groovy citizens, and happy Sunday. I know I randomly do a vlog on Sundays, but y'all, I just stopped at, well, I had to run into CVS real quick to get some supplies, ladies. Y'all know what I'm talking about when that monthly time comes. And then I said, let me go to Dunkin' Donuts and get me a donut, something I haven't had in a while. And I only crave, and I don't really care for chocolate, but I only crave it around that time of the month. So I got me, y'all, look at this. I got me two. Don't judge me because I don't judge you. Two Boston creams. Ooh, haunting. And I can't wait to sink my teeth into it. And then I'm going to wash it down with my sweet tea. So anyway, so I was listening to my Christmas music. Y'all listen. Okay, enough of that. So what better way to spend your Sunday, y'all, after having worship service? Let me take a bite of my donut. Mm, mm -mm. Like I said, don't judge me because I don't judge you. And you have a donut and some Christmas music. And today is the big game, y'all. It's the big game with Dallas and I don't know which one I'm supposed to go to get out of here. Mm. And the red and Washington. So, y'all know I'm a Washington fan. I've been praying, Lord, let Washington win this game. Send Dallas back home mad and all that other good stuff. So as I was in Dunkin' Donuts, I saw a couple of people in there that are Dallas fans. And one lady kept staring at me. I'm thinking, I know I don't know her, so I know she don't know me. But I showed, even with the mask on, I had to give her that look. Like, can I help you with something? Anywho, anyhow. Um, yeah, I just wanted to do this random video just to wish you all a happy Sunday. Hopefully you all are enjoying your day to the fullest and you know the sun is out it's 47 degrees but the sun is out so it feels good outside mm, mm, mm. Mm. yeah i feel like such a pig but it's so wet oh thank you get out there and enjoy your day do something constructive and get prepared for an amazing week Okay, come on now. We're not going to sit and stop and wait for Jesus to come back, y'all. Now, my... Oh, I can go up here to the light. Okay. What is this lady doing? Jesus Christ. She is all over the road. So here's the problem. You all can't see it because the traffic is in front of me, but there's a ton of traffic because of the game as you all know i live like right literally down the street from the uh washington stadium and so there's traffic in every direction you can think of trying to get to this game and so all i want to do is i'm gonna make my left instead of trying to go back up central avenue i came down central avenue go uh the back way to get to my house because i don't have all day so i'm gonna eat this donut with my sweet tea but my other donut i want to have that one with my hot tea I don't know if the light then changes or not. <laughs> All right, come on, y'all. Let's go. Get some gas. Okay. Mm. I have some words of wisdom for you until I've been into this donut and I just lost it all. So one thing I can tell y'all is go out there, have an amazing week, do some big things. I want you all to do at least one big thing this week. And preferably, preferably, I want it to be something that you've been afraid to do. Something that you've been afraid to do, but you wanted to do. I want you to go out there and, and do it this, this week. Even if you don't finish it, that's fine. Just get it started. Because we're gonna, we're starting to think big. We're not gonna keep thinking small. That's for small-minded people, and that's not us. We're not small-minded people, okay? We're big-minded people. And so I want you all, like I said, to go out there and accomplish something big that you have been afraid to tackle for whatever reason. Go out there, start it, finish it if you can, of course, but if not, at least get it started. Because this week, we are expecting big things. See, we serve a big God. And so, because of that, we should always want 
big things. You, you cannot serve a big God and then expect to just have small things in life. I don't know about you all, but I don't see it that way. Mm, now I'm going to have to try to get out of here. And like I said, y'all y'all can't see all this traffic down the road, but it is horrendous. So like I said, I just need to go down a little bit ways and I'm going to turn off, make my left, go up the back road to get home because I ain't got time for all this foolishness. But anyway, getting back to what I was saying, we're going to achieve some big things this week and I'm trying not to get this chocolate all over my hands. Good God. If you know me, then you know I do not like food. It makes my hands messy. But yeah, we're going to achieve some big things. I don't know about you all, but I have a couple of things that I need to, to tackle this week. One of which is to work on my mastermind. Even though I'm not doing it until February, I don't want to be last minute pulling things together. Because I also need to make sure... I get my stuff together so I can start getting the word out. Because like I said, it's going to be a small group. It'll be in person, but it's going to be a small group of people. I'm going to say 10, no more than 12 people. And yeah, because that's, that's my comfort level. Let me just be honest with you. I'm not at a place where I want to be doing things with big groups of people. I'm just not. And if you are, then that's great. But that doesn't work for me at this point. And so we finally made it to our turn off. Hallelujah to the Lamb. And so, yes, yeah, so I want to work on that. And I'm in the process of rearranging my room. So I do need to get started on that as well. Because I've been putting that off for a while. And I'm tired of doing that too. And so, yeah, I'm going to get that started. And I'm still reading. I told y'all for the month of December, I'm doing this challenge and every day you're supposed to read a chapter in the book of Luke. So today is day 10. So I'll be reading Luke, the Luke, uh, the 11th chapter of Luke today. So I'm going to go home and do that and read my uh, read in my journals because I love reading my inspirational journals. I don't know about you all, but it just really sets the tone for my day. And so I would encourage you to find something that that sets the tone for your day. It doesn't matter what it is that you choose to read, to be honest with you, but something that's inspirational, preferably, that sets, sets the tone for your day, and not only your day, but for your week. Like I said, I don't know about you all, but I have declared it. I believe it, and I receive it. Don't you pull out. <laughs> I have declared that this is going to be an amazing week. I'm declaring it for you all. How about that? I'm declaring that you all are going to get an unexpected blessing this week. Some of you are gonna get an unexpected unexpected blessing. Some of you all are gonna get a phone call that you've been waiting on for whatever reason, but you're gonna get that phone call this week. God is truly going to open up the floodgates of heaven and pour out blessings upon you that you might not have room enough to receive it all. And I'm claiming it in the name of Jesus, not only for you, but also for me. I know I sound like a preacher. Come on, somebody. But but I'm trying to tell y'all, God is good. There's some huge vultures over there. Good grief. God is good. And I just believe that the best is yet to come. That's not something that we just say. That is something that I truly believe. And I tell myself that every day. I start my week off by telling myself that the best is yet to come. So I just need you all to just be patient. Don't give up. Don't give in. Don't, don't feel like, you know, all of your praying is for nothing because it's not. God hears you. God hears you. As I was reading in the book of Luke, I think it was yesterday's chapter. It might have been the day before, but I love it when God's word says that as a man ask or whatever you ask, you will receive. Basically, what it was talking about is how God hears you. So if you spend time like I do talking to God, God hears you. He always hears you. He may not act when you want him to, mm, but his timing is not our timing. But just know that he hears you and great things are coming. So I want you all to believe that, receive it in your spirit because the best really is yet to come. So having said that, y'all, I'm going to finish up this donut right here. I'm trying to eat like I have some, I was raised with some common sense. Mm, I want that piece of chocolate to fall off my lap. But sometimes it's hard when you're enjoying this. Mm-mm-mm. But y'all go out there, have a great week, 
Enjoy the rest of your day. And may God continue to bless you and all that you say and all that you do. May he bless your families, keep you in his cares. I'm, I'm asking God for healing. I don't know who, who's listening to this video right now that needs healing, but I'm asking God to send on the healing that, you, that you've been seeking. And I believe that he will do it. Just like you should believe it. That's it, you guys. I'm out. Enjoy the rest of your day. If you're new to watching my videos, I just want to say welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. And I'll be back on tomorrow for another car conversation. Oh, wait a minute, y'all. Hold up. Hold your horses. Tomorrow's the 13th, is it not? Yes, it is. Tomorrow's the 13th. So please don't forget, you guys, that tomorrow starts my 12 Days of Christmas series. You can listen to the audio on my podcast and or you can watch the videos on YouTube. Either one, the choice is yours. You know, it's, it's basically, it's the same content. I just chose to do it in two different forms. And of course, I've added a little extra to both of them because sometimes I can be extra. And so I would say it's just worth listening to both of them. But, you know, do what pleases you. But y'all better make sure you listen to it. Oh, sorry, I'm looking at the screen, excuse me. And uh, yeah, so don't forget tomorrow, 12 Days of Christmas series starts. Please make sure you uh, tune in because I don't want you to miss anything that I have to share with you. Love you all. I'm sorry, this is not your first rodeo. Welcome back. Missed you guys. Love you all. Y'all know the drill. You know my spiel. I love each and every one of you to the moon and back. And there's nothing, and I mean absolutely nothing, that you can do about it. Until next time, take care.